today I have this galvanized metal mason jar that I found at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to remove the jute hanger from the top and I'm going to give it a coat of some Wise Owl Clear Primer. Now whenever painting on metal you do want to make sure that you prime that way your paint will adhere better to the metal. I'm then going to paint it with some Wise Owl Republic Red and I did give this two coats of the Republic Red. The first coat you want to apply, allow it to fully dry, and then you can go ahead and apply your second coat, which will give you much better coverage. Now at the top, I will be adding another color, so I did not worry about a second coat up there. Now I'm going to take some Wise Owl Dry Time, and I'm going to go around the top here, making a pointy zigzag, almost like upside down triangles and I'm going to fill the entire top of the mouth of the jar with some of the dry thyme and then I have this paint pen marker that I found at Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love this for small detail and I went ahead and added little seeds to the red part so now we have ourselves a strawberry. I got these wood strawberry cutouts from Joanne Fabrics online and I'm going to paint those the same color as I painted the mason jar. So I'll do the bottom portion of the strawberry with some Wise Owl Republic Red. And then I'll go ahead and fill in the leaves with some of the Wise Owl Dried Thyme. I'll set all that aside to dry and I'm going to take my mason jar and flip it over and I have these wood blocks. They're the tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue them on the back side of my mason jar four going down the left and right side and one across the bottom. And this is just going to make it raised. I have this unfinished wood board that I'm going to be using and I'm going to glue the mason jar down onto my board. Now I have these little skewers I'm going to glue on the back side of my strawberries. I painted three, but I think I'm going to only end up using two of them. I have some artificial greenery that now can sit inside the mason jar because we added the tumbling tower blocks to just make it a little raised. And then I have some artificial baby breath that I also got from Dollar Tree that I'm just going to cut and add in between the greenery as well. And then I can go ahead and, and add in the two strawberries. And you can mess with that until you like how your flowers are arranged. I'm then going to take some jute and just wrap it around the top of the mason jar here. There's some grooves on the sides and I'm just going to set the jute inside the grooves. And then I'll cut, but I do want to leave a little excess jute and I'm just going to make a double knot here. I have this cardboard tag that I got from my local dollar store and I'm just going to take one of them and just cut it a little shorter. And then I have some unfinished wood letters that I'm going to leave unfinished and I'm going to glue them down onto my tag and I'm going to spell the word sweet. I strung that through the jute and I'm just going to have the tag hanging off the side of the mouth of the mason jar. You can make a little bow at the top and just cut off any excess jute. And I decided to glue my tag down so it's not moving around too much. Now we do have these holes at the top where we've removed the original jute. I'm going to fill them with hot glue and just paint over them. That's one easy way to fill those. And there you go. Now we just have this really cute, sweet, strawberry floral decor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage as well. Have a great day.